so this here is my new toy. This is a 300 watt Variac with a maximum output of 130 volts. It's rated a max of 30 amps with a 25 amp fuse on the side. And in order to start this Variac I have a 1 kilo ohm 25 watt resistor into the switch. If I was just to plug this thing into the wall and turn it on, it would simply trip my breaker. So we send it through the resistor first, and then when that resistor is on, we flip the switch to short the resistor, so we have a uh, short start on it, a uh, soft start. So today, for just testing it, I have my dual microwave oven transformer uh, stack and I'm not going to be turning it up all the way I'm just going to be turning it up enough to draw a maximum of 2.5 amps on it which should be around about 40 volts I will for fun also hold the arc just because there's a lot of people who like hearing that 60 hertz so first we turn it on then we flip it on to full power so first off would be the barrack goes up oddly by 13 volts, which is kind of weird. So I guess first we do 13 volts. Really tiny, pulls about a peak current of 1.12 amps. Now we can go up to 26 volts. Peak current of 1.8 amps. And now we can go up to 39 volts. Which peaks at about 6 amps actually. But you can hear my Variac, it does hum when I short it. But 6 amps isn't going to do anything to fry a 30 amp Variac. means I can hold this arc forever and nothing's going to break. really bright glow in it you saw was actually 18 aug stranded wire because this is part of my Tesla coil stick so I had a second poker on it to make two arcs and as you saw I have 1 8 inch copper tubing on here which allows arcing but it's still as you saw it got orange hot so this time we have it so we're in a little bit of darkness to show how bright the arcs are along with showing the metal so I'll go to about 30 volts make sure it arcs guys probably can't see that but when I'm pointing the flashlight at it I can see the heat fumes actually raising the air after the arc goes off
with all that current that surges through it. the actual screw at the end of that thing is actually pretty hot. The end of my uh, Mottstack terminal. So after all that arcing, the question comes to me exactly how warm did my transformers get after doing only 6 amps to them. So here we have a thermal meter and you can see our primary is at about 116, 117. The well, that was the secondary. The primary is actually 108, 110, 111. So the secondary is a little bit hotter. The middle core, right in the middle of the cores here, is about 100 degrees. Our big giant metal sink plate at the bottom, I'm getting about 83, 84 degrees here. And then our insulator at the post, 104 and then at the screw if I can make it go on by now it probably dropped temperatures but I can't get it over about 120 degrees Fahrenheit so things did warm up after doing all of that but our maximum peak was only 6.3 amps if I do a peak reading on this thing at 120 volts, I can actually get up to 80 amps being read on this thing. Other than that, our variac did work. As you can see with this variac too, it does have a switch that lights up. And then it does have a little volt meter and it tells me how many volts I'm pulling, but there's no amp meter. Like my previous variac over here, I put one on it. So eventually you have to add a amp meter to this variac. So that's pretty much everything that we got this past weekend.